Hi, uh, welcome to GGKCS, a multi generational podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross stitch, and geeky. I'm Cece, and my pronouns are she, they. I'm so glad to have you here today. Today is Friday, the 14th of October, 2022. I don't know why it took me a second to get that because yesterday was Dammy's birthday on the 13th. So if you have not um, said happy birthday to Dammy, you should do that because. They're amazing. I just got out of the shower and my glasses are a little fogging up. Okay, well, I fly out to the UK in um, like 26 hours-ish. I have a lot to do still. So, but I'm here with you today because I got the Black Needle Society treat box. So this year they had two different boxes. They had a trick box and a treat box. And I went with the treat box. So here we go. Oh, it's so adorable. And it's got our list of goodies. It has a note. Uh, they're telling us Spring and Stars Hollow is on sale. If you have not gotten that, the theblackneedlesociety.com. We have a photo challenge and we have photos from previous boxes. Um, I will tell you one thing that, um, there is one item that was supposed to be in this box and last minute the vendor was not able to supply it. The Black Needle Society has been so transparent and, um, just has such integrity about sharing what has happened without bashing this maker and also offered us compensation for the missing item so if you ordered the trick or treat box the trick box or the treat box um and did not get an email from the black needle society check your spam filter first because you know uh but if not reach out to help at the black needle society.com let me make sure that is that the right one yes help at the black needle society.com and they'll be able to help you also i'm wearing my so i've got this witch's hat headband last year when they did the i bought it to wear when they did the 31 day trick-or-treat box i can't remember if that's what it was called anyway the halloween box last year and i did videos every single day um and so i pulled this out to wear for y'all today all right, are you ready? Have I talked enough? Are we ready to talk about what is in this box? Lots and lots of paper, where shall I start? Um, well, let's just start right here, which I am guessing this is gonna be floss, because it usually is in this package. Oh, we got more nuggets. Okay, um, let me tell you what they are first, and then I'll show you each of them individually. Treat, exclusive silk pack, made by Almond M&M's. What's happier this Halloween that a set, than a set of silks hand dyed by Ymir? We think this is quite the treat. So, this is Ghoul's Blood. This is Poison Lemonade. Ooh, that's really pretty. This is Sleepy Hollow. That's gorgeous. This is <gasps> Pumpkin Spice Potion. <sighs> if you know me, you know I love pumpkin spice. And this one, Beetlejuice. And look at those colors. I oh, love those colors. So those are gorgeous. All right, next up, let's just... Okay. Jack-o'-lantern cookie made by Mondo Delora. Did you think we weren't going to give you a treat to snack on? We hope you enjoy this pumpkin-shaped sugar cookie on Halloween or sooner if you can't resist. Uh, I'm going to guess it's not gluten-free, but let me just look and see. It's a little hard to read because there's crumbs. Yes, it does. Sorry it took me that long. <laughs> so, this will be going to Dammy after I take photos for the photo challenge. Uh, because I am gluten free, but it's super cute. And it's like, I mean, it's a substantial cookie. Look how thick that cookie is. Super cute. Okay, next. 
Ooh, we have an envelope. And what is in the envelope? Are any of y'all old enough to remember that? There's more than one thing. I'm trying to get them all out. Oh, these are, um, where are they at? Treat Trio Zipper Pulls. Okay, let me read this and then I'll show you. Designed by Kitster Cronk, who has done art for the boxes in the past, and I love their stuff. We asked Kit to create an adorable exclusive set of zipper pulls for this treat box. How cute is the ghost stitching on its own sheet? Not to mention the frog be gone pull to keep you from ripping out stitches. Okay, so the first one, it says frog be gone. Sorry, I'm going to swipe because there's a notification on my phone. Sorry. Frog be gone. Stitch, please. Look at that cat. Oh my gosh. And the ghost stitching its own sheet. Super cute. Love those. We got zipper pulls um, that are that same kind of uh, design in the, is it the Autumn and Stars hollow box, I think. And I love them. I love them so much. All right. Oh, it's a candle. All right. Happy Halloween treat candle poured by the Black Needle Society. Oh my goodness, Katie made these. We hope you enjoy the smell of cinnamon apples this Halloween, but keep an eye on your candle while it burns. You might find an unexpected treat hidden in the wax. Well, I'm not gonna be able to show you all that until it, I burn it. Oh, oh, it smells good. Oh my goodness. I love it. Katie and I have talked in the past about that she was um, pouring candles. Um, okay, we got fabric. Let me open it so I can show you, but I'll read it to you while I'm opening it. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find it. Sweet treat fabric, hand dyed by Mystic Fabrics. We asked Misty for a happy teal fabric for Halloween, and she definitely delivered. We even think it might be a great color for the project included in this box. So I got 16 count Ada. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. It's called Sweet Treat by Mystic Fabrics. Oh, that is so pretty. So pretty. I'll put it back in the sleeve after I finish filming for y'all. Oh, this is what I think it is. Candy Hall headband made by Fable Bands. We had to include some candy in your treat box, but you'll be able to enjoy this kind year after year. Use this exclusive headband to keep hair out of your eyes while stitching or loop it around the back cover of a book to use as a fabric bookmark this October. Okay, so it's got lollipops and candy corn and like kind of Tootsie Roll type and other little candies. Oh my gosh. I love Fable bands. I have so many and it is all, if you've not heard this story before, it's all the Black Needle Society's fault because they sent in my very first box, which was the nice list box of 2020. There was a headband in it and I loved it so much and I got obsessed and now I have like two dozen of them. If I didn't have this witch's hat on right now, I would put this on. I think they probably knew that would be my reaction. Okay. This I think is some thread jewelry. Let's see here. Spooky stitchery thread jewelry designed by the Black Needle Society. If you can't make it to the cross stitch shop this Halloween, you can at least visit the spooky stitchery complete with a cat and cauldron sitting in the windows. So it's thread jewelry. Super cute. So it says spooky stitchery and there's a cauldron in one window and a cat in the other window. Oh, super beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Oh, look at this needle minder. 
Happy Halloween Needle Minder, designed by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, made by a needle runs through it. We think this adorable candy corn is casting a spell for fast and accurate stitching. That's super cute. Love it. Okay. Oh. Look at this project bag. Who made this? Um, sorry, there it is. Pumpkin Patch Project Bag made by the 805 Stitcher. I should have known. Tara is one of Katie's favorite project bag makers, so it only seemed fitting we asked her to create an exclusive bag for this box. We hope it keeps your project safe from chocolate and candy stains this Halloween. So it's got ghosts. It's got a pumpkin pull. And then it's got pumpkins and cauldrons and ghosts and skeletons and tombstones. But can you see all the pink pumpkins? This notification keeps popping up. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay. What is this? Sorry, I have to open it. I'm not sure what this is. Oh my goodness. Look at this bag. The Witching Stash Storage Bag, artwork by Ekaterina Zarina. We don't know about you, but we have a lot of Halloween projects we're stitching on this, uh, on this October. We'll be using this exclusive bag to keep them all together in one safe place. There's even a friendly witch to cast spells of protection on the contents. So it's got pumpkins and witches and the moon and spider webs and... Um, leaves, but oh, this is huge. So there are, there's front pockets. There's two layers of front pockets across here. And then inside, it's huge. There is two more big pockets and a zipper pocket and a uh, little um, liner thing that you could like put your scissors or whatever on. Um, I might have to change the bag I'm taking on the plane with me. This is fantastic. Oh, and there's another pocket in the back. How cool. This is fantastic. I'm seriously might have to change my bag for the trip. Um, okay. Oh, these are so cute. Um, Halloween project stickers, artwork by Choni Artwork. Have you had any Halloween finishes? If you're having a piece framed, you can fill out and attach one of these exclusive stickers to the back of the piece with all the project information. So it says stitch by date, designer, title, and notes. So there's the pumpkin house one. There's the happy Halloween one. There's the ghost spider web one. There's the ghost with the hearts. There is a purple pumpkin saying boo. And then there is the jack lantern full of candy with the uh, garland. That is super cute. Love it. Okay. I think the only thing I have left is the pattern, but let me just make sure. Yep. 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 Here we go. Oh, it's so cute. Happy Halloween pattern designed by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery stitchery. Sorry, I can't talk y'all. We don't know how Amanda and Ashley work their pumpkin magic to make the most perfectly adorable patterns, but we are so excited to include this happy Halloween witch in our treat box for 2022. So it's a green witch with purple hair and a hat. It says happy Halloween. There's candy all around it. That is super cute. And let's see, the sizing is... 83 by 70. So if you do it on 14 count Ada, it would be 
just under six inches wide by five inches tall. I would have to do the math on because I have the 16 count Ada that came, right? Wasn't it 16 count or was it 14? Is 16, but it still should fit on that piece. And then it uses one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors of DMC or Cosmo. Super cute, y'all. This box, okay. Let's run back through it. We have the pattern, we have the stickers, we have this epic bag, we have the adorable project bag with the pink pumpkins. We have the table fan. <laughs> we have ah, the, I didn't close the sleeve and it was sticking, the fabric. We have the cookie. We have the candle and there's a treat in it after you burn it. There's the needle minder. There's the thread jewelry. There is all of the little nuggets of silk floss. And there is the zipper pulls, the super cute zipper pulls, which you could put on your big bag. Oh my God. This box is epic. And I'm so glad I was able to unbox it before I leave my trip because I thought I was gonna have to wait until after I got back. Um, at the beginning of November. So I'm so excited I got to do this. So as I said, this is the treat box. There's a totally separate trick box. Um, I'm guessing that probably some of the things cross over, but um, it, that one was like the horror box. This was the cutesy box. Um, I... Um, I purchased this box, but I am a rep for the Black Needle Society, and you can use my coupon code JAVAPEARL5, J-A-V-A-P-U-R-L, and the number five, to save 5% off anything in the vault, which is where all the extra stuff lives. All the stuff that's left over from boxes lives in the vault. So you can go there. Um, I think probably this stuff will be... I don't know if this stuff will be in the vault at the beginning of November. It depends, I think, on shipping. So, um, but that would be my guess is that this stuff would be, the extras of this stuff would be in the vault at the beginning of November. Uh, their website is theblackneedlesociety.com and Spring and Stars Hollow is on sale right now. Um, it's a secret, but I may have had a wee little sneak peek at the pattern. Don't tell anybody. It's adorable. Oh, I screamed. Well, it was more like a squeal of delight. I love it so much. Um, I mean, like, it, there's pieces of it that could change, but kind of the overview. Oh, it was amazing. So you should join us. And um, I, because I had a friend who didn't know this, the special edition boxes, like the trick box, the treat box, these uh, Spring and Stars Hollow. Um, there'll be the, I think it's the novels and needles sometime in the new year, the nice list box, all those boxes like that. You don't have to be a subscriber of the every other month boxes to get those. You just purchase those out just outright. Um, but if you want to be in the, um, every other month boxes, there's a wait list at the black join the wait list and they are adding people into the rotation as quickly as possible. All right, y'all, this is epic. <sighs> Happy Halloween, Katie, Laura, you knocked the ball out of the park. I am so in love, so in love. <sighs> just, y'all, I just can't even, I just cannot even. This is so epic. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you Happy Halloween. I'm gonna get stuff done. I've gotta finish packing. I've got to run an errand. And my flight takes off in 25 hours and five minutes. So I'm going to get to it. Happy Halloween. Happy crafting. And I will see you again uh, in a regular episode sometime near the beginning of November. All right. Happy Halloween. <laughs>